While consternation is going on in Ngabo and what happens, the Mbororo community, a nomadic group known for their cattle herding, has long been associated with acts of terror and violence in the southern Cameroons. Historically, they have committed numerous human rights violations with impunity, ranging from brutal killings to the arson of homes. Their reign of terror has been marked by a disturbing pattern of unchecked aggression and violence. One recent incident vividly illustrates this ongoing crisis. In the early morning of August 12, 2024, Mbororo militants launched a vicious assault on Sop village in Undu local government area, caught completely off guard while they slept. The villagers were subjected to a night of terror as the attackers set fire to their homes. Witnesses recounted the chilling sounds of gunfire and the crackling of flames. Tragically, a sick man who was indoors during the attack lost his life, caught in the fire set by the Umbaroros. Well, this horrifying event is not an isolated occurrence, but part of a disturbing trend. Just last year, Mbaroa headsmen crossed into Fungom inflicting similar violence and killing a traditional leader. Now, the pattern of violence is clear, numerous and alarming. Yet, the international community's response remains woefully inadequate. In Dongamata County, particularly in Ngaburu, the situation has further deteriorated. The colonial government of La Republic du Cameroon has exacerbated tensions by setting up a military camp in the area and imposing draconian orders on the local population just on the 14th of August was when this happened. Residents were instructed to report to the military camp every Monday prior with threats of arrest, torture and even death for those who did not comply with this draconian law. Well, this decree issued last week was met with fear, hence resistance from the locals. On August 14, 2024, the military's intimidation tactics reached a new level as they began arresting young men in Ngabo, forcing many to flee their homes. The climate of fear and repression has left the community in a state of panic and uncertainty. This escalating crisis begs the question. Where are the human rights organizations in this dire situation? Reports and statements from international bodies seem to be mired in bureaucratic inertia. And there is a disheartening lack of concrete action to address these egregious violations of human rights. Well, it is even more disheartening that some southern Cameroons in the diaspora are working in collusion with the Cameroon government have exacerbated the suffering of supposed fellow Southern Cameroons by endorsing and encouraging for the violence. But even more so, the international community's silence and inaction are not merely passive observation, but active complicity in this ongoing tragedy. As we stand witness to these atrocities, one must ask how many lives must be lost and how many more homes must be destroyed before the international community decides to break its conspiracy of silence and take meaningful actions vis-a-vis -vis a mediated, just settlement between the two Cameroons to bring an end to these chaos and unchecked atrocities by colonial La Republic and its proxies. We wonder how many more.